The Harley Davidson CBO Road Glide, 117 cubic inch engine, 21 inch front wheel, beautiful paint job, and an awesome vehicle for touring around the United States and the rest of North America. There's only one problem with this bike. The 21 inch front wheel does not have enough room to clear the crash guard in order to be able to put lowers on it. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I built my own so that I can avoid getting pelted by rain, rocks, hail, and wind fatigue. So I went down to a local Hobby Lobby, got hold of some modeling clay, and yes, I'm not the best artist in the world with clay, but I didn't have to really get too specific on it. I shaped it into the general size that I wanted, uh, made it, gave it a nice aerodynamic look, made sure it could clear the front wheel, and then added some additional features uh, towards the top and the bottom, just to make it kind of look cool and go along with the bike itself. I like to 3D print stuff, so the next thing I need to do is build a gigantic 3D printer in order to be able to make this thing. The 3D printer I had before was uh, Zortrax, which was fairly small, so I got hold of this one out of Israel and had to put it together myself over about a month and a half period of time. But once I was done, I was able to print things that are four feet long, two feet high, and two feet wide. Once it was done put together, uh, I ran into some technical difficulties with bearings uh, out of China that I had to replace. And then I had to calibrate it for a couple of days just to make sure everything was good, so I was ready to roll. Next, I could sit back and uh, program in the design and something to the computer. So this is what I came up with based on the clay design, and uh, it would blow air onto the engine, uh, but it was full of material, so I wanted to figure out what to do with the inside of it. A buddy of mine came up with an idea of uh, installing a speaker in there which would take out some of the material and also have some added purpose. So I came up with this idea of uh, putting a speaker in here and then also uh, adding my own hole for the uh, speaker wires to be able to come through as well. And then having it as one solid piece so I wouldn't have any seams. So one solid piece and then adding in the mounting bracket so that then uh, I can mount it onto the crash guard itself. Once I was done with the design, now I just have to print it. And I decided to try to print it in carbon fiber and see how it would come out. So the first way I was printing this was kind of straight up and down. I could see the progress of it, and also the edges came out, the sides came out extremely smooth. They had a 40% infill paper, so it was really, really, really solid, which later I decided it was actually too solid. I needed to bring it down some. While it came out extremely nice, was easy to finish on the outside, A, the inside was really hard, and the second time I went to print it, it obviously didn't come out so well. So I ended up trying to find a different way of printing it. So after the last time of trying to print this, so the first time seems to have come out okay after I was able to get all the input material out. Now I've been able, I've decided to lay it down on its side, which seems to be a better solution for this. The carbon fiber on the Modix works actually pretty well and doesn't look like it needs uh, very much of any support material. So, we'll see how that comes out. Um, currently, you can see how the infill material looks on here. So this will get me done in 845 cubic centimeters versus like 2,000 cubic centimeters before. So that's like one, less than one spool, slightly less than one spool. Um, and we'll see what happens. So here's where I'm at now. 5.55, that's what I should see down here on the bed. And 585 now, actually. So let's bump this back up and see what, uh... All right, we should see somewhere between these two spots here. So looking at that, come over here and look straight down. looking pretty good. I got my two, two of two main supports out on this side coming up and a little bit of a support on the top. I should put it quite see because the extreme is covered right now. So we should know tomorrow morning if this bad boy is going to hold up. Yeah, that's light. Less than a pound right off the printer. Okay, and here they are. Lowers are mounted. And they seem to be pretty tight. Took for a test run a little while ago to make sure that uh, they work fine. Tomorrow, we'll be taking these things to Alaska and see what's gonna happen. So, nice and all solid.
wood sides. And as you can see, we put in some um, Rockford Fosgate speakers here. Those fit perfect like the uh, Harley ones do. And then I had to 3D print uh, a ring because none of the rings came that came with it fit right. So I was able to 3D print one of those two while I was out. We'll see how this holds up on the way to Seattle. And then I may get them painted with uh, some orange striping. But we'll see how this uh, paint job holds up in the meantime. So, so far so good. I've made it all the way to Mount Rainier National Park up in Washington. The lowers have held out fine. They look great. They kept the rain off. I've gotten rained on a couple of times. They're solid rocks. Uh, so far, awesome. And I can't wait to get all the way to Alaska and back and then get these things uh, painted to match my Harley. So thanks for watching and please like the video.